All right, we'll wrap up a uh, 71-65 loss for the Yellow Jackets to the number 13 Marietta College Pioneers tonight uh, at the Sprung Gymnasium. Head coach Tom Heil, joined by Ty Colombo and Matt Dimitrievs. Coach, uh, a really solid second half effort, but just kind of dug yourself a, a little bit of a hole early on. Uh, love your opening thoughts on the game. Yeah, I think you kind of hit the nail on the head. Um, I'll tell you what, you know, I, I, when we talked to the team after, I'm really proud of the way we competed. I thought we competed really, really hard, uh, especially in the second half. And I thought we were competing in the first half. Um, I thought we executed well and, and the ball wasn't going in the hoop. And I, you know, for the most part, I don't think we let it affect the urgency that we played with um, really at both ends. They're just really hard to guard. They execute. They're really well coached. Uh, they, they made us pay, I think, for every mistake we made in the first half defensively, um, which is, I think, why we were a little upset at halftime. But the hardest thing, I think, to do as a coach is evaluate, are we executing and getting the shots we want, regardless of if they go in or not? And are we guarding and following our plan and they just kind of making some plays? And, and I do think we did a pretty good job, especially in the second half of following our plan on D. And, and uh, we got a few to go in and I thought it kind of energized us, but uh, they're really difficult to guard. Uh, they're very experienced. I think they run their stuff really well. I think they deserve a ton of credit for the shots that we missed. Um, especially in the first half. Uh, but, but I'm really proud of, of the competitors that we have in our program. We were never out of it. You know, we, never, we, we were never out of the fight tonight, and I think that's a big part of our identity, what we want the identity of, of our program to be. And these two guys were a big reason why. All right, Ty, I know uh, it was kind of tough early in the game when you guys had a, a couple of good minutes early on. And then all of a sudden, Marietta started to kind of get in a rhythm. And no matter the way you guys stayed in the game, you got looks you wanted, especially from deep. They just didn't go down. How do you try to mentally stay in a game where you're getting rhythm shots as a team that you guys want, and they're just not falling? Um, that's probably one of the more challenging things as a player. Um, we evaluate ourselves on making and missing shots. And Coach always says, like, you know, don't let the ball affect going in. I'm sure if you watch the film, Coach Hall, we get a good shot, he's going to be clapping, make or miss. And like I said, it's tough to do as a player, but to beat these guys, like, there's, I don't know how many possessions in the game, 100 possessions, 120 between both teams, and they add up. So, I mean, whether you're hot the first half, obviously they played better the first half, we played better the second half. There's a lot of possessions, and you just got to keep grinding, you know. Um, we made a lot of plays the second half. They ended up making a few more plays, and that's the difference in the game. Man, it felt like you guys had a different level of emotion in the second half, and it wasn't that you played harder. It was the it was the way the team seemed to play more under control while playing aggressive in the second half, and that flustered Marietta. Where do you guys sense that little switch where you know, hey, we're always going to play hard, but there's a different way to to sort of play within yourselves? <clears throat> Well, in the first half, I think it was tough because, uh, like Ty said, we weren't making shots, and we let that affect you know other things like defense and just playing our offense. I think we got some good looks in the first half, but they just weren't falling, and some guys got discouraged. And I think at halftime, our coaches and our you know our guys on the bench did a great job of uh, encouraging us to keep shooting those, and uh, we were still getting good looks in the second half, but we just got some to fall. And once you get in a rhythm like that, it's you know, we're great at taking those runs and going with them. Coach, I know this is a game against Marietta basically the last decade. It's kind of been the measuring stick game in the league. You know, for better or for worse, they've essentially been the best team across, you know, the OAC the last 10 years. And I know you guys don't try to look at that on a, on a every time you play them basis. But when you're able to step back and look at how well you play against the, the top teams in the conference, how does that give you confidence moving into the rest of the season saying, look, we're, we're right there? Yeah, I, they have been the measuring stick. I mean, they've been, you know, they've been, they've had a, a, been outright or had a share of four straight OAC regular seasons, and that's really um, a pretty incredible thing to do. Uh, and, and, you know, I'm not sure it's, that it's been done before, but they have been the measuring stick. And, you know, for us, we, the way that we competed tonight, like you, this is the emotional plays that you talked about, you felt the emotion in the second half. Honestly, making some shots helps. It, it helps get the juices going, but 
man, I thought our guys made some plays that were emotionally uplifting, inspiring plays that have nothing to do with making shots. Um, some of them were some loose balls or getting a deflection or, you know, Kyle Nader has been that guy for us. And, and really, I think he, in a lot of ways, gets us going from that regard, you know, and, and Maddie does it as a shooter, but he, he does it in some other ways as well. And when I think about Ty's two and a half years that he's played at BW, I can specifically think of 10 to 15 times where he's done that. Now, I'm not talking about making a shot, just an inspiring play, a loose ball, getting a tie up and the arrows our way, those kind of plays. You know, I thought there was a lot of that tonight. I thought there was a lot of competitors on the floor in white jerseys, and, and we, did, we weren't good enough to beat them tonight. Uh, we didn't make enough shots. We didn't get enough stops. Um, you know, they were better defensively. They were better offensively. They were the better team tonight. But it wasn't because we didn't compete. It wasn't because we, you know, we didn't go out there and, 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 you know, fight for 40 minutes. I think we did that at a pretty high level, and that's why I'm proud. Uh, I'm proud of our team. I think we're getting better. Um, and, you know, a lot of nights at home, those, 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 those shots have been dropping for us, and tonight they didn't. But um, credit to them. They had a lot to do with it. They're a great team, and uh, we will – you know, we're trying to get better every day, and, and they certainly are one of those teams that has been the measuring stick that, you know, you're trying to uh, – we don't really want to compare ourselves to anybody, but, you know, you got to be able to beat them. And, uh, we, you know, we, we haven't been able to do it in two tries, and um, we got to take, I think, the information that we have and, and try to get better. But if we compete the way we competed tonight consistently, it'll be good enough to win a lot of games. Ty, one of the things that impressed me tonight, the way you defended against Caleb Point, there were a couple times where it seemed like you got in his head, you drew a couple fouls, but you also, without fouling, sort of reached around him and knocked balls away from him. It just flustered him, and I think that mentality trickled into Marietta a little bit early in the second half and started the run you guys went on. Can you tell me about the, the pride you take on the defensive end of the floor? I mean, it's no secret I'm not the best athlete. And um, Caleb Hoyne's a hell of a player. You know, you watch his film, and he's so strong, and he's so good around the hoop. So my advantage is trying just to play harder than him. And it's not that I did. I made a few plays. I got my hands on stuff. I let my, the refs actually let me play a little bit more physical than they let us play usually which played to my advantage, you know, I was reaching sometimes to get those calls, but um, he's a really tough guard and all their bigs are. So you just got to try to outsmart them, you know, try to get your hand on the ball, try to just to frustrate them, you know, bounce around. Like Coach Schmidt always talks about that, you know, bounce around, try to wear them out, you know, run down the court. I mean, sometimes offensively, you just running down the court as hard as you can and him having to follow you can, wear him down, so um, you just got I tried to outwork him tonight. Matt, I, I know you weren't necessarily right in the heat of it, but the technical foul that really gave you guys a good chance at the end of the game, uh, I think it was uh, Christian James, number one for Marietta, that dove on the ball, and then the technical foul happened. Uh, how did that whole play unravel in your eyes? Um, honestly, I think it just started with Kyle Nader playing the way he does. He plays, I mean, the kid's got an engine that doesn't, doesn't stop, and uh, that I mean, that frustrates offensive players because they can't do anything on him when he's, you know, he's always got his hands up on defense and he's always stopping you when you're trying to drive. And I mean, tensions were high, the game was getting close, and you know, he Nader just makes really people. He just makes people do that. You know? <laughs> Get some people's head. I tell you, I was I was proud of him for stepping up and knocking those free throws in. I think that was a tough situation that I put him in. You know, as a, as a guy who's first year playing college hoops, and uh, I think it it showed a lot of a lot of toughness that he that he stepped up and made him uh, in, in that situation. So, you know, credit to Matt. Last thing, coach, for you is the roller coaster you've been on lately. You had an overtime loss at the buzzer at Wilmington. You had a big lead in the first half, hung on to win in overtime against your rival last time out, and, and you almost came up with a, an impressive comeback win tonight, so it's kind of been that roller coaster ride lately. Mm -hmm. Where's the morale of this team right now, knowing you've still got four weeks left before the conference tournament? Oh, it's great. It's high. Uh, I love our guys. We got, you know, we, we, we have got a locker room full of uh, the right kind of people. So we, I think it's – I uh, – Honestly, one of the things that I've really, I think, done a, 
a better job on a personal level is just appreciating each day that I have with these guys, um, especially you know our two seniors who who they've only got four weeks left, and that's really been the mindset that I that I'm taking, and and it's really the reason and the cr the credit belongs with these guys that we we just have we have the right kind of people, uh, we got winners, we've got guys that are high character, you know that's why we recruit guys that are of that kind of you know makeup, the high character guys because the OAC is a it's brutal. Everybody's good. I mean, I, I can guarantee you Wednesday is going to be a battle, an absolute battle. You know, probably another overtime game. You know, and, and that's just the that's when you play in a great league. That's just the way that it is. So you got to have the right kind of guys. I am a hundred percent confident we've got we've got the, our locker room full of those guys. So we're, we're going to keep getting better. We're, we're not a finished product yet. We're going to keep getting better. We got guys that are, are still going to be excited to come to the gym, and we got coaches that are really excited to coach them. And and we're taking every we're not taking any days for granted. So uh, I think if we do that, we'll keep getting better. And our hope is we're not even close to playing our best basketball yet.